Hey guys, what's up? Just wanted to give you an update. Um, some of you who follow me on Facebook. Oh my god, the struggles of makeup is real. Um, know that I had my big toenails removed back in... October. So I did it as like a kind of like birthday present to myself. Um, the saga was... And I'll get to my service dog issue here in a minute. The saga was that um, I went to... Oh, yeah, I thought I fixed that. No, I didn't. Okay, let's fix that. Okay. The saga was that I went to a bad salon. And um, with my... SO's best friend. Uh, my SO passed away in Iraq. And... He went to that salon. So, uh, by the way, I'm wearing Dawn Eyes Cosmetics Duo Chrome and Melt Cosmetics, if you're wondering, with the Tom Ford, what is it, Emotional Mascara? And I really like it. Their concealer was crap, in my, in my opinion. It uh, could work on somebody else, but not me. So I had the Anastasia concealer, everything else underneath my makeup, and I'm wearing La Mer. Um, foundation, which yes, I had to save up for because it's great stock. Anyway, beside all the makeup stuff. So, and yes, I have foundation on my hair. It's what happens when you have short hair and when you have colored hair, especially when I'm blonde. So, um, I went to a salon and I went in to get gel removed from my toes because that's what I used to do. In fact, I'll show you my toes. This is what they look like. They look really, really fantastic. So I had the whole nail removed, okay? So they burnt it with acid and everything. And you see my other toenails are kept. Piece of fuzz on there from my sock. Sorry about that. So um, from riding for like 33 years and everything, you get your, t your toes kind of squeezed into boots. It's not really much you can do. It's the way they're shaped. They're kind of... You can get them in wides, more readily, readily available now. Back when I started, they were kind of like one size, like seven and a half, seven, eight, you know, the deal. And they used to be more pointed. Now they have more of a rounded toe. They're more comfortable, yada, 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 so forth and so on. I almost, almost have a bunion on my toes almost not quite but what I do have is a sweeping big toes so and I've been told that by multiple podiatrists and uh, orthopedic doctors and everything my big toes and as well as my third and fourth toe they they all go up like this so they hit the top of my shoes which means I'm predisposed to getting ingrown toenails now never had an ingrown toenail um, ever until I went to this place and this is what happened so I went to get my gel polish removed which is where they take some acetone put it over the polish and they take a small scraping tool that looks kind of like a um, it looks like my fingernail is shaped and they just scrape it off and all I asked her to do was just change the polish so that means I got a little stick on like bite guard oh well anyway so they just scrape it off after the acetone replace it with what I had which I brought my own polish and that's it I didn't want a pedicure in fact I told her I was like I don't want to soak in the water nothing I just my polish changed which is like five dollars or something like that and I was there with my my friend and um he gets pedicures he's a policeman he gets pedicures and um, he ended up having the same thing happen, but that's that's beside the point. So anyway, I am not healthy. I have a lot of health problems, and I'm on some different medication, which has been tearing up my stomach. Um, but I won't go into that right now. But anyway, I was at the that was towards probably the beginning. 
15. So probably three years into my really starting my health problems. And um, I was having a lot of problems trying different medications at that point. So I could be bed bound at times for weeks, months. It just depended. So I went in on a Friday and on Saturday they blew up. Both big, to big toes blew up. And I called them and he said, well, she's not in today. Can you come back on Sunday? And I said, I don't know. I might be in the bed. I'm not feeling well. And little did I know, I was having a fever. I was having a reaction. Obviously, my toes were blown up. Um, our urgent care here is not open on Sundays. And I didn't want to go to the emergency room just for a toe. Because at that point, I didn't know what was going on. So I went back on Sunday. I was able to go back on Sunday. And what she told him was that I had an ingrown toenail. What really happened, and I had actually videoed part of, her, uh, part of what was going on, was that I had watched her use some new tools that she had bought that looked like, you know, the, the rainbow titanium that kind of looked like these, these multi-chrome nails. And she was using them on everybody. So she wasn't sanitizing them. She wasn't putting them in the... Um, the sanitizing thing that you use. You put them in and it's sterilizing it just like they do at tattoo shops. Autoclave, that's what I'm looking for. And she was going from person to person to person, which is why I asked her to begin with. And I didn't want that person. I asked for somebody else and they, they couldn't get me the person I wanted. So I told her that's why I was like, I want a sterile pack, which she pulled out. And I was like, I want you to wear gloves and I just want you to scrape the toe polish off. So she did that. And then the next thing I know, I look down and she's pulling off my cuticles. I don't ever want someone to pull off my cuticles. There's no reason for them to pull off your cuticles anymore. It's, it, it's not needed, especially with people with immune problems and everything else. There's no reason. A lot of these places say they sanitize. They don't, okay? Unless they take the pack out in front of you and you see that seal change colors, it's not sterile. And even then, you don't know what it's been through before it's gotten to you. So it's just better to be safe than sorry and just don't have them cut your cuticles. And this is coming from someone who knows quite a few nail techs. And what pissed me off is that I had to go within, see that was Sunday, so Wednesday, I had to make an appointment with a podiatrist and I couldn't wait that long with one toe. It was just getting too upset, too inflamed. I went to a podiatrist and I had, I mean, I had urgent care and I had my right one split. So that means part of it was cut down and removed because she in fact caused an ingrown toenail, which I, I don't get. I'll get thick skin occasionally which they say can lead to ingrown toenails. But I've always had thick skin. So, but this was like red, inflamed, infected, you get the deal. So he pulled out like a teeny tiny sliver. And he said, this is, this is not an ingrown toenail. He goes, basically what happened is she, she got bacteria down in there, caused an infection. He goes, this is not an ingrown toenail. So, and the lady didn't even numb my toe all the way, but that's beside the point. So I go to the, the podiatrist the next time. He does the same thing, says the same thing. He goes, this is not an ingrown toenail. It's an actual infection. This is staph. So we get that done. Fast forward. Um, I'm still having problems with them. They're not right. They still hurt no matter what I do. Um, I go back to my normal place that I trust. And they do a callus removal for me. Instead of actually cutting the tissue, they just kind of scrub it down for me. They always use new sponges. Everything comes in clean. And, um, you know, they say, you know, we can cut it. And I say, no, don't cut it. Leave it alone. It's angry. So I end up having a surgery on my... I think it was on my left ankle first. And then he did my right... So he did my left ankle first, and what he ended up doing, and I'll show you, 
is he took away half the nail, which if you look, you can tell when he did the surgery, this is before this nail was removed. He took this half off and then he sewed it through the skin. Well, this, this foot was in a cast. So this nail actually ended up getting MRSA. So then they had to cut the cast back to here, redo this nail. This nail was fine. Redo this nail. And then here recently in about last June, I started having a lot of pain and tenderness right through here. Like it wasn't red or anything. It was just really tender. And you can see how my toes just sitting like this, they poke up. And then you can see over here, this, how this one pokes up, how this one pokes up. And then these two over here, how they poke up. So what the guy did was, as I told him, I was like, just go ahead and remove them. I don't want them to come back. So he did the tourniquet, went in and did a really good job of numbing him up and just yanked him out. And um, it's taken, let's see, it's April, so October, November, December, January, February, April, it's about six months. It was towards the end of October. And um, I was really anal about keeping those things clean, keeping them lubricated. They're a little bit dry right now, and that's fine because uh, there's Vaseline in my sock. So uh, there's lubrication in my sock. And then when I go to bed, I put a little bit of a Vaseline, which is what he told me to do. So different doctors, different things. And then I just put a little bit on top of my toenail with a little bit of a band-aid just to keep them a little bit moist at night so they just don't get like really leathery. And basically what that'll end up being is scar tissue. Now, some people would have said, why don't you just grow it back out? I've had the things removed and spliced in total, not in counting the surgery because I had it done again after that. This was the sixth time. So, excuse me. Hey, knock it off. I, I was over this whole process. I, I was over and done and ready to be like, and um, I was like, hey, can, you know, I, in fact, the other day I painted my other toenails and just left that one free. I was like, I don't care anymore. I don't care what it looks like. I used to paint my toenails all the time, but when I was younger, um, I never really did. So, because I always kind of had rough feet from running around barefoot as a kid, because that's, that's what we do when it's really warm. We all just ran around barefoot. So now it's just, you know, it's just a piece of scar tissue, like a scar on your body. No big deal, and I'm glad I did it. Now for the service dog, he uh, went with me today in a doctor's appointment, and then all of a sudden he started limping, and I was like, what the heck, what did you do? So uh, immediately called the vet, made an appointment, and he's got a bruised shoulder. Now normally I would immediately take him out of service and use a secondary dog, because some people have two dogs. I don't, my other one's retired. Um, he limps. So I got a, a note from the doctor. Um, he's fine, he's on some NSAIDs, so he'll be fine. In fact, he's already doing better. He's out in the backyard right now. I'm watching him. He's had his pill, and he looks great. So we don't we don't know what he did. Um, he could have just jumped out of the. He has to jump kind of down out of my car. I have a little uh, Ford Escape crossover, so we think maybe he jumped out of that wrong, or yeah, he's walking completely sound now. Or he was chasing squirrels this morning, and maybe hit the fence <gasps> excuse me there's no telling so anyway everything is good for now um x-rays were clean she didn't see anything 
and the dogs are all up to date. So let's cross fingers for good luck, shall we? Thanks guys for watching. See you later. Bye.